In today's video, we'll go over steps to set up the system controllers on your Veloz chassis. Let's begin by quickly looking at a Veloz chassis and understanding the hardware components on the chassis. What you're seeing on the screen today is a CX410 4 rack unit chassis that has 8 slots that can be populated by blades as well as 2 larger slots that are populated by the SX410 system controllers. System controllers are components of the chassis that provide a unified point for external management and connectivity to the platform and applications running on the chassis. Each Veloz chassis ships with a redundant pair of system controllers that provide high bandwidth interconnect between blades and high availability. After your Veloz chassis is physically installed and powered on in your data center, you will access the CLI of the system and run the setup wizard to perform basic configuration. For initial configuration and setup, you will connect to the Veloz system using a console server or management console to obtain terminal access. The Veloz system wizard provides options to configure IPv4 and IPv6 management IP addresses for controller 1 and controller 2. It also allows for setting the default gateway, the prefix link and a floating management IP address. Throughout this video, we'll refer to the static IP for controllers 1 and 2 as the management IP address and specifically refer to the floating management IP as such. The wizard also provides an option to configure a DNS and an NTP server. You can optionally choose to enable DHCP to configure floating and static management IP addresses on your Veloz chassis. The Veloz chassis ships with default admin and root accounts. Before we can access the Veloz setup wizard, the first step is to change the default admin and root passwords. Ensure that you are connected to the active system controller. You can do this by either checking the LED on the system controller by, or by accessing the AOM menu. To access the AOM menu, Telnet into the system controller and hold down the escaped shift and 9 key to reproduce this pattern that you're seeing on your screen. So let's log in to the system controller and go through some steps using the AOM menu to see if you're on the active controller. So as you can see I've logged I have Telnet access into a controller on my Veloz chassis. I now hold down the shift and 9 key. You can see that I have now entered the AOM menu. Now that I am in the AOM menu, you want to hit I to display chassis information. You'll notice that the status of the system controller 1 is active which indicates that you're logged in to the active system controller. Hit Q to exit out of the AO menu. And now that you know that you're logged into the active system controller, let's go ahead and first change the admin password. The root password for the admin account is admin so let's log in as the admin user the first time you log in as admin the system will prompt you to re to change the admin uh, password so re-enter the default admin password which is admin enter your new admin password And as you can see, you've reset your admin password and are now logged in to the active controller. Now that you've changed the admin password, log out.
The next step is to reset the root password. The root password is temporarily set to the admin password that we just set. So let's go ahead and attempt to log in as root using the temporary root password, which is the password that we just set for the admin account. As you can see, you're immediately prompted to change the root password, which we can do now. Now, as you can see, you've successfully reset the root password. Now let's go ahead and run the Velos setup wizard. To run the Velos setup wizard, you, you will be logged in as a root account, but we'll still need admin user credential to commit the configuration changes that you make using the setup wizard. To run the Velos setup wizard, simply type Velos hyphen setup hyphen wizard and hit enter. We're going to use the Velos setup wizard to configure management and floating IP addresses. We're going to use the 10.144.140.0 slash 24 address space to do so. Here, um, a floating IP address of 120. Uh, the controller 1 and controller 2 static IPs of 121 and 122 uh, the default gateway the prefix length and a DNS and NTP server So we're going to answer no to enabling DHCP to configure IP addresses and Yes to configuring IPv4 management uh, networking uh, like we discussed the floating IP is 120 the fixed controller IP is 121 the controller 2 IP is 122 the gateway address is 140.254 I'm going to use a prefix of 24 we're only going to configure IPv4 addresses at this point, so we're going to answer no to configuring IPv6. Uh, we are going to configure a DNS server. The DNS server IP address is 10.192.50.10. Uh, the default port of 53 is correct. We want to configure an NTP address. Yes. Uh, and we'd like the NTP address to be 192.168.180.15 and the default port works and yes finally we want to commit this configuration like I said at the beginning of this video we want to uh, we need the admin credentials to commit our um, the settings that we just entered so we're going to enter the admin username and the password for the admin account and as you can see the um, controller IP addresses being said the DHCP addresses were set the IPv4 and DNS IP addresses are being set the, and finally the NTP addresses are being set. You will also notice that uh, the appliance mode is enabled um, by default. Let's now switch to the admin user to enter the FIOS controller CLI to verify that our um, that the IP addresses we set uh, were successfully entered 
The command to do that is the show running config system management IP. So it's show running config system management IP. And as you can see, the addresses were successfully set. We've disabled DHCP. Uh, the IPv4 gateway is correctly set. The prefix length is accurate and is 24. And our settings were committed. This concludes part one of this video series on setting up a Velos chassis. To recap, in this video, we've successfully set up the system controllers on the Velos chassis using the setup wizard and are now ready to create backups, upgrade the version of OS running on your chassis, and then create partitions and deploy tenants on the chassis. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.